out and about, Cheddar Gorge. I wasn't going to come up here today actually, but I decided to go a bit further. Why not? Costa Coffee. Gluten free, vegan, fruity crumble. Never tried one of these. Should be pretty good though. It's quite soft. We like it soft. And it's got loads of jam in it. Plum jam. Cranberries. Sugar, sunflower oil, sultanas. Rice flour's got to be good then. Gluten free oats. Boring vlog, don't watch this one. Don't watch this vlog. Someone uploaded a vlog the other day. I can't remember who it was. Can't remember his YouTube channel. He's a guy that cycled across America. And he put vlog up. Don't watch this vlog. Like, sometimes, you might not have nothing really of value to say, you know? I don't know, maybe that's how I feel, or but someone else might get some value from that. The fact that I've been out riding my bike today, and maybe someone else hasn't for whatever reason, but because I've been out riding today, might encourage them to put their helmet on just go out for a ride, you know? Interesting today that I went out to go just like 20K, literally out round into the countryside, back home, four hours, whatever later. I just ride my bike, right? I've done like 91 kilometers, you know? Fasted ride as well, didn't have no brekkie. But we stopped in uh, service stations. It's gotten warm, it's gotten warm today. It took like, it took me like vesting off underneath, you know? And uh, just stuffed them down the back of my, my bibs down the back. But yeah, it's gotten warm. Um, just gotta remember to stay hydrated, you know? Interestingly today, I've done it before, and I think it's it's something you really need to be in touch with when you're cycling, right? And that's like whether you're using caffeine or not. Like I didn't use caffeine to fuel my ride today, although I had a coffee earlier. That makes sense, but I didn't have I didn't have the coffee because I wanted the caffeine. I just wanted a hot drink this morning, right? Um, and that was up Cheddar Gorge earlier, four hours ago plus, right? But you need to be you need to be in touch with yourself all right because it can be dangerous if you're running on caffeine but you're not getting any carbs in you need to be really in touch with what you're doing i was mentioned before like your emotions actually on the bike being aware in traffic because it's fucking dangerous right important things to look out for are things like when you're resting your hands on the handlebars you know like your hands can kind of get they can move if you see what I mean. Next minute, you, it's easy to lose a hand on a handlebar. That's what I'm saying, and you can like, you can fall off and do yourself some damage. You know, it's never actually happened to me, but just be aware of like lazy hands on the handlebar. You know, um, it's a good thing to do. Like if you're like high carb vegan, you know, you're into your diet and you're into your lifestyle and you're cycling and you're running or whatever. It's a good thing to experience kind of like being under carb, maybe like ketosis or something. You know just sort of seem to the point of how far you can push yourself like that. I mean, yeah, it's not recommended. You want to be carved the fuck up, you know? And But sometimes, like, well, that's the nature of the sport. Well, that is the nature of sport. There's going to be points where you're going to feel, you're going to have a big low, you know? You're going to ha it's going to happen. Like, people talk about bonking. Like, if you haven't been cycling long and you've talked about that, you, you bonked on a certain ride or whatever, it comes with the, it comes with the sport, you know? It's going to happen again. It will happen, you know? You might not have much sleep, you might be dehydrated, you know, and no matter how, how you fucking carb up, you know, you can just feel like shit on a ride. And it might not necessarily be like you're bonking, you just feel like shit, you know. You'll be carved up, but you just feel like shit. It happens, man. You can't be 100% all the time. I don't even, like, try to be, so I just ride my bike, you know, and if I go out and I feel crap, I just, like, slow right down or whatever, or just stop and take in a view. Or take a piss, just chill out for five or ten minutes and carry on my merry way again, you know? Um, but it's important to be chilled out because there's a lot happened on my ride today um, with traffic and 
To be honest, I think I saved a couple of cars today from having a head-on on some bridges, you know. Blind as they are, they still try and overtake you on bridges. Motorway bridges, all right? All right if you know me, if you're watching this and you know me, all right, and you cycle out around, like, say, the Somerset levels or something like that, all right? Yeah, nine times out of ten, you're going to... Again, depends where you go, I suppose. Well, yeah, you're going to go over a motorway bridge or something. Just be aware, man, like cars that are coming up behind you they will go to overtake you on a bridge okay not a problem they've gone round you but fact of the matter is if there's a car coming the other way they're going to swerve right into you aren't they or uh, there's going to be a head on i have actually seen i don't know how it didn't happen but both cars skidded but just being aware of things like that you know being aware of i'm talking about when you're feeling a bit under carb now like when you're out cycling right just being more because you have to be tuned in, you know, just be more aware of like, even more tuned in to traffic and what it's doing, you know. Um, get yourself to a garage and get fueled up, you know. That's what I've been doing today because it's been hot, to make, making sure I'm hydrated. And uh, a sure sign of it is like, I haven't stopped for many piss stops today, I'm sweating out. Um, so, uh, something to bear in mind, isn't it? Yeah, just some thoughts and whatever. I guess this has turned into a vlog, a, a video, whatever. No flies in the eye today. But yeah, that temperature just like rose, you know? Been good though, that's been good. Another thing I was thinking about actually today on my bike, that. It's funny how you can think sometimes, you know? You're growing all the time, aren't you? Like, you can work on your personal development and making yourself a better person and stuff because everyone like like if you're a cunt in life why are you a fucking cunt you know surely you like to be treated nice you know i mean if someone's a cunt whatever now i just like i just fucking walk i don't want to be around people like that you know just walk away or whatever whatever can't be dealing with it man but like what i'm saying is you're never the same person all the time are you you're like changing you're changing whether you're working on your personal development or not all right, like you're not the same person you were five, 10, 15, 20 years ago as you are now, all right? You just change, you start thinking different things. Um, why do you start thinking those things? I don't know, man, I don't know. But I know, one thing I do know, right, is that being into cycling, being into fitness, like I could quite easily still be skateboarding, whatever now, I, just, I do like skateboarding. And if I wanted to do that, I'd be like, fucking off the cycle and doing skateboarding all the time, you know? Because, like, what comes with skateboarding, guaranteed, every time you go to skate, you're going to fall off, slam, smash your shin, smash your knee. I can handle that, man. I've been fucked up so many times skateboarding in my life. Luckily, I never broke anything, but I smashed ribs up, knocked myself out, done whatever, and you get over that shit. That's skateboarding, you know? And in a couple of days, you're back skateboarding again, albeit an achy leg or whatever. That's what you're into, you know? So that's one of the other skate anymore because like little shitty things like that and it just fucks you up on the bike um, for the next few weeks or something. <clears throat> but I fucking forgot what I was going to say now. I don't know. But just, uh, yeah, I guess so. I'm not going to edit that out. I guess so just to be sustainable cycling go out on your bike ride your bike rather than go out and ruin yourself every ride for what just consistent cycling steady cycling albeit there's a few roads i have a little bit of a smash on here and there that's just personal prs for me personal records or whatever see what we can do again man on no training um i know a lot of people make out they train and a lot of people make out there's something they're fucking not you know me I just go out and ride my bike so if you see me going up a climb say hello and yeah you'll probably leave me for dead man i'm no climber i'm better than i was i enjoy it i just like spinning up man i don't like blowing myself up but yeah that's what I'm, that's all i want to say that's the vlog today we're we'll on saturday it's bank holiday weekend if i want to go and ride tomorrow i'll go and ride if i don't want to go and ride i won't ride you know Go vegan. Fucking hell, nine minutes. Nine minutes of jibber jabber.
get on YouTube. Get on YouTube, man. There's so many things people can share on YouTube. Inspire other people, man. Inspire other people to get fit and healthy. Because you haven't got you have you haven't got your health and fitness, man. You've got nothing. Nothing. If you're not fit and healthy, alright? You've got fuck all. Come, come, come.